Okay, well here we are at the Denver Golf Expo 2013. Just got finished setting up uh, all of the uh, giant inflatable driving nets for the PGA here. This is all birdie ball stuff. And we loan these to the PGA section here in Colorado every year uh, so that they can have hitting bays where in fact they use birdie balls and strike pads and uh, they give lessons right here in these uh, giant bays. So that's kind of cool. But what we're going to do today is in this space right here, we're going to actually do a contiguous 16 foot by 16 foot birdie ball putting green with the uh, brakes uh, that you have on a real putting green. And here are the, uh, here are the pieces we're going to use to do that. And then here are uh, the four 16 foot lengths that we're going to put together. And uh, again, make a contiguous putting green right here on the floor. first and we're going to get a look of general look of where they're going to be positioned and then we're going to pull them back we're going to put tape on the floor and, uh, and put them down one by one. Okay so we're going to take, we've laid out our green upside down. If you notice we've marked these greens where they align so B goes to B B1 goes to B1, B2 goes to B2, etc. We're going to, this is completely opposite of the way the green is going to be. So when we're done, this end will be on that side, that end will be on this side. But we wanted to get a general layout of what this is going to be. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we have some raised areas to create undulations in the green. So we're going to put uh, the first undulation right underneath this corner so that when we flip it up, it'll be on this corner here. So this is the first one here that we have. And we're going to adhere it right to this green right here. Like so. So we will tape those two together. Then we're going to put tape along the floor so that we can tape down the first piece of green. Okay, so we put double stick tape on the back side of this green. We also put it along this edge. This piece could just as well go right here. We're going to peel back the double, this side of the tape now and, uh, and adhere, flip this over and adhere it right down to the corner and line it right up on the edges. And what is this doing for us? This is creating a break in the corner of the green. It's actually thickening the edge of the green so the ball, will, the, the slope of the green will actually go away from us here. We'll be able to put in a double thick cup up here as well so the ball drops even further into the cup. And this is actually sanded to be a knife edge on this edge so that it's just a gradual incline and this, so that there's no sharp edge for the green to have to conform to. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to now flip this over so that in the corner we have a small hill. And the first thing we want to do is line this up right on this end so that it lines up perfect there. Before we stick it down too hard, we just kind of want to make sure that we've got our eye down this, that it's going to line up just perfect, and it is. So now we're just going to push this down here. Okay, so that's double-sided that tape. This is now double-sided tape, so. Right. We're going to take and make sure that this lines right down the edge as we do it. And then starting from the corner, we'll just push right out. In the end. Now we need to put a hole right down through here so that we can uh, so that we have a double thick hole. Alright, so now we're going 
going to cut our first hole for the cut for the cup. Again, this uh, this piece is extremely sharp, very sharp serrated edges. It's going to come in a package, protecting that edge. When you get it undone, make sure you're very very careful because this is extremely sharp. Make sure you have something underneath the green as you go to cut, and we've lined up where we want our hole to be at least about 14 to 18 inches from the edges on this side just so the ball can roll past the cup if need be and we're just going to twist just and push gently and pull that right up so now we have our first hole cut and we're going to put in the putting cup in here before we flip this upside down Okay, so we've lined the other end of the green up to where it's going to be. That, that is our corner point down there. Okay, so uh, we've started down here in the corner where, the, where those double X is. That's going to be our zero, zero coordinate. That's where the corner of the green is going to be. Now remember, this is going to be the corner that we're on here. But I know the length of the green, so I'm going to make a, I've made two little marks on the floor. You can't even see them through the camera, but I can see them. And I'm going to line up a piece of tape on the edge of that so I know where, to, where I need to put my tape from. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to put that piece of tape right down there. And I'm going to pull it to this other mark that I've made so that we've got a nice straight line. And then I'm going to cut it off right there. Now we're going to go do the same thing on the other end. And then we're going to run pieces of tape in between these. Then we'll pull off all of the, um, the double stick and we'll flip this green over and, uh, and start putting it down. flip this entire green down here so that we can run our tape that way. Just going to slide it out of the way. about every six to eight inches. That'll keep the green really adhered down tight to the floor.
fun and part of the strategy is where do you locate the holes. So we put that double thick hole on that end. We're going to put another one that is a single thick toughness. But notice we have a high back piece so that it will actually stop the balls. The reason we're putting this over here is this is where people are going to be coming in the green and this will this will uh, maybe ensure the, the firm putts are going to stay in the cup. So we're just going to slide this in again. This is about where we want the cup right in here. So I'm just going to take and slide that there, make sure I'm all the way underneath it so I don't cut into the floor. Pull that out and we'll slide this cup in. And we're going to do this before. And we're orienting this to protect this 90 degree corner here where balls could roll off the edge. So we're actually going to orient the cup just to protect that edge. Again, this, this is where balls would roll out into the, into the aisle. Now, John has actually gone and laid out where he thinks the holes ought to be on the rest of the green with the other undulations. So you'll see right here that we already have a little hill that we're going to put on this green when this is flipped over. It's going to be on this side. This hole, when, uh, when flipped over, is going to be up in that corner. And, um, and then we'll have holes throughout the green. So uh, it's, it's going to be looking really good. All right, so we're going to just pick this green up. This is really a two-person job. middle of this piece of tape when I line that up I put that down very good so the next one is just going to hook right to that and we flip it over so the next thing we're going to do is cut the holes for these greens flip it over and do the same thing all the way down okay so we're going to put a couple more breaks in the green here. So we're going to put this one right here. And we're going to put this one right here. And we're going to put a hole in this one, right dead in the middle of it, right here. So I need my hole cutter 